Hi guys, it's Jules, or Jillian, as I've rebranded myself. Um, so today we're building an Oasis starter home, and I'm super hyped about it because, you know, it's not too often people do a lot of start homes in Oasis Springs, so I'm quite happy with how it turned out. It's super modern too, so I love that. All about modern start homes, all about modern builds in general, really. Um, so it's built on a 20 by 15 Oasis Springs lot, as you can see. Terrain tools were added after the build, so I didn't get the chance to have that little hill that you saw in the screenshot before I started talking. Didn't get the chance to do that on the actual uh, speed build, but it's in the screenshots, it's added, it's on the gallery, etc. Which download link is below uh, in the description. Um, so yeah, it's uh, I, I really like it, to be honest, I'm quite happy with it. Uh, it's for hashtag big group save. Um, which Prismatic Simmer, or Han, as a lot of people know her, uh, created. So she was lacking for starter builds, so I was like, sure, I'll do a starter build and I'll do it in Oasis Springs, because not that many people tend to do that. It tends to be more Willow Creek, that kind of thing, but Oasis Springs is great to build in. The lighting's nice, the vibe's nice, it's fun, you know. So it comes in at 18,427 simoleons, so it's actually decent for your start a game basically which is the whole point of a start home you know um so it's got great soil natural light and it's in a quick zone uh which is the little trace of the house um obviously great soil because always the springs i think it's pretty cool i think it's a good idea to have it as great soil because i think a lot of things would grow there quite easily yes it's a desert yes i realize this but i think the lighting would help uh, natural light in general because <laughs> I want as you can see later on in the build there's lots of windows things like that so natural light is good and quirk zone because I feel like deserts and things like that might be more susceptible I don't know I thought it'd be a fun little addition like a little addition yeah, why not <laughs> so the build uses seasons cats and dogs get together city living get to work jungle adventure dine out outdoor retreat backyard stuff and perfect patio so there's a lot of stuff <laughs> I use a lot in this build um, if you don't like that I have plenty of base game builds on my channel I have plenty of base game stuff on my origin which is Julian TV and yeah you can you can check them out um, I'm pretty sure I have a base game starter somewhere but if not I will be uploading that shortly <laughs> so yeah um, additional fact now a EA game changer. Whoop whoop. Um, so yeah, I'm actually super hyped about that. Super excited. So as of uh, recording this, it was a couple of days ago that Kate sent the email and I was literally just watching White Chicks with my boyfriend, my friend Akasas or Aki as I know her, um, and a lot of other people do, um, was like, girl, you need to check and see if you actually got it. <laughs> and like I scrolled down my notifications on my phone and I got it. And I was like, oh my God. I cannot believe this wow um so yeah i'm super pumped and excited about it and yeah i hope you guys are happy for me <laughs> obviously i know not a lot of people got in but that's okay um i fully didn't expect to get in i'm as surprised as you guys probably are as well but you know they saw potential so i feel good about myself you know yeah um, back to build wise, it, it's kind of all over the place. It's not as fast as usual because it didn't take me that long to build it. I think it only took me about an hour actually, which is really not that long for me at all. And I think about 20 minutes of that was me picking a decent playlist. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's pretty straightforward, um, quite modern inspired. Upstairs is kind of split level because I love doing split levels. And there is no roof on this house, which makes me very happy inside because I I'm not the best at roofing. I enjoy it, but it doesn't like me, <laughs> basically. Um, so as you can see, I'm struggling big time with that uh, split level. As I tend to, um, it, I always struggle with them because I always want it to look nice. It was kind of an overlap uh, outside. Um, so it didn't, <sighs> I, did, I didn't really like that. Um, I get rid of it later because it just screws the, the way that the build is because here you can see me try and put stuff in the, on the side, like, you know, like, oh, some plants would look nice. Maybe, you know, getting rid of uh, the fencing or putting a lamp there, anything, right? And I'm like, 
it just doesn't work so I get rid of that because <laughs> otherwise it just it makes the room unnecessarily like I don't know it just it just makes it's just unnecessary for the build I don't think it needs it so you can add that back if you really want but I don't I wouldn't advise it I think it looks meh um, try to go with quite a neutral palette as you can see I'm changing things um, in the dark because I panicked okay <laughs> I panicked I wanted it to work and it didn't um, so yeah I'm just changing things on the outside a little bit I'm making sure everything actually looks okay it was a huge thing for me because it's like you know I want it to look nice for people things like that I still yeah I get rid of it all so it's all just pretty straight it's quite boxy but you know modern builds tend to be quite boxy so that's fine and also it's a start at home it's not like gonna be rocket science like it's it's not super fancy or anything that's the whole point of a start at home that you guys are gonna change it and add things as you will or take things away whatever so upstairs is obviously the bedroom there's nothing else just the bedroom and then a desk uh which we obviously didn't have fun for a computer but you know it's fine um i think it looks nice i do change the outside yet again so most of the upstairs changes i have the little box open to make sure it is uh, actually a start home because i tend to not think about start homes i tend to pick the things that cost the most because you know you want to look you want the game to look pretty and nice trying to add some decorations and things and it's just it is what it is basically try to do more of a kind of white green blue kind of theme upstairs well mainly white and green really adding some files in because you know maybe maybe the sim who lives here you know is important or just really likes reading and has books and stuff i think i add a bookcase i can't remember if i do but you know, favourite thing about the build though is that painting that I just put up and resized. I really, really like that and I'm really happy about that. I think it looks real nice over the two levels. And yeah, <laughs> doing the kitchen now. Um, if you haven't noticed, there is not a bathroom at this point because I forget about the bathroom until I'm basically done with the build and I'm like, oh well, oops, should probably add a bathroom in here. Um, could be a good idea. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh wait, no, I don't have a bathroom. So now I have to move things over and resize things. <laughs> and it's 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 a bathroom. I didn't take a screenshot of it because it's a bathroom. Like, I mean, I know people take screenshots of bathrooms, but I don't because I don't see the point. It's a shower, a sink, a toilet. That's about it. This, that's it for me anyway. And yeah, <laughs> pretty straightforward bathroom. Um, I try to do some extra little nice things door I used is from seasons which is actually really really nice for the price of it it's one of the cheaper doors and I think it looks super nice so I was like yes we will be using that I'm happy with this I like this a lot didn't know how many seats to go for I thought two was okay because you know it's no point having like loads and loads and loads of seats because you know realistically it, this is really only going to be two sims living here for right now and then I changed the upstairs a little bit because obviously we have the bathroom downstairs <laughs> so that kind of has to have a roof on it otherwise it might be a bit awkward and look a little bit strange so I'm just kind of like what should I do how do I fix this and then I fix it like that so I think it works it's like I say upstairs is very very open it's okay um I probably could have done a lot different things with it I like it though for what it is it's a start at home so again there's not loads you can do with it it is what it is it's not yeah it's not the end of the world if you want to change it you're more than welcome to uh, like I said download is down below and yeah basically um, I have also started doing some builds on my twitch channel so that's uh, twitch.tv uh, forward slash Julianne and I'm super hyped about that so one of the builds I'm going to be uploading at some point soon um, is is well I started it on Twitch and figured out how to uh, record without looking at <laughs> the overlays which was really handy um, so it's, uh, I think it's GeForce experience or something it was helpful <laughs> um, 
it makes my life a lot easier so I'm gonna be uh, using that to upload um, in future and yeah I hope that it works out we'll find out I haven't started editing it yet I'm paranoid about it and I have a really long pause here and I don't know why I think I must have been changing my song again because uh, the majority of the pauses in any of my videos tend to be I'm changing the songs then I wanted to put a rug as well I think I put a rug underneath just making it like look a bit more homey because you know there's only so much you can do but I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, have a lovely day enjoy the screenshots and I'll see you for my next video bye guys <laughs>